Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Refo Data Channel podcast. I am your host Deepak and with me we have Mr. Brand Halanen. Brand is the director of AI and co-founder of uh, Steelhead Technologies. He is a mathematician and scientist and he is currently blending the power of AI in the field of job shop manufacturing and we will be discussing a lot about this particular topic in this podcast. It's a pleasure to have you here today Brand and uh, thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh, thank you for having me. So I have a couple of questions and starting with this one. So uh, how did you identify the need for AI scheduling in job shop manufacturing and uh, what motivated you to focus on this area? So so one of our customers came to us at the beginning and they were just begging us to build this. This is why um, they, they said our anodizing tanks run overtime. If they were properly scheduled and full, filled every time, they'd run three days a week. So they're like, we're, we're, we're missing by 50% because of utilization problems. So this, the scheduling is just horrific, basically. So the, the, in, that got us started on the path of digitizing the plant. Because the, the number one thing that needs to be done is actually know where everything's at and what everything needs to be done to everything. Uh, so the, what we've been building is a manufacturing execution system that's a modern plant operating system so we can digitize everything in the plants so we know where everything is and operators will have the not find it super burdensome to update that so it's got to be user friendly etc so yeah the, the reason we we started down this was basically a, a customer came to us begging and pleading for for something like this so okay okay got it so uh, can you describe your experience working with job shop manufacturers and what you have learned from the industry throughout your work? Uh, yeah, there, it's, a, it's a pretty it's a super challenging business to run would be one thing I would say. They are constantly quoting and accepting and scheduling and running new work um, because a job shop is, is, so you think manufacturing, most people think high volume manufacturing, same thing every day. A job shop is getting a new thing every day. So they're, they're constantly re, you know, they're constantly coming up with a new game plan, a new way to run everything every day and a new instructions. It, it's, it's a super dynamic environment. So, uh, they, they certainly have a huge informational problem. And then just even getting a grasp on their information problems is a huge challenge for them. So. Okay. Okay. Got it. So, uh, how does AI scheduling in job shop manufacturing differ from its implementation in captive shops and uh, integrated? Yeah, that's what I was just what I was just saying. Like a, a captive shop is basically some big high volume plants. Like we'll just put this guy over there, and they'll just they'll just do whatever we want, and they'll flow into that area and flow out. They do one task; it's just make those guys happy over there. It's a captive shop. A job shop. It's like well, there's four of those plants in town and they're all sending us work whenever they want it. And uh, we have to make it all work. And four is probably a super low number, way higher actually. Uh, the, uh, the the big advantage of a job shop, of course, is less capital. You know, you know, the other option would be all four of those plants would buy all the capital and stick it all in each of their plants. So it's expensive and wasteful. Um, so the uh, and they, a, a job shop's gotta be able to schedule crazy mix and, uh, and uh, captive shops just like yep same thing every day what's coming down the pipeline easy to see so okay okay so uh, so regarding some of the specific challenges that American job shop manufacturers are facing in terms of scheduling and like how AI is actually helping elevate those challenges yeah, so uh, I, I would say our, just the initial digitization and uh, search capabilities we added, we're, we're, we're slowly uh, getting to the point of rolling out uh, the, the scheduler. But obviously, if you don't have it digitized, it's not very useful to have any scheduling. Um, who cares, right? Uh, the But the Im- initial thing of just like a customer calls and like, <laughs> where are the parts? Like, like those, those kind of... Uh, Things are, there, there's huge benefits just to know. Just can I type in a type in the customer's name and there's all their work right there, um, like like in, in where exactly it all is in the process. So, but uh, we um, 
I, I would say on schedule, the, one of the big benefits of scheduling is one of the most efficient plants I've been in. Uh, they had a hundred uh, line workers and twelve office workers, which is a good, very pretty good ratio. Um, and one quarter of their office workers were schedulers. All they did all day long was arrange work on the line. So they're running extremely thin, you know, extremely trim operation. And uh, yeah, still huge allocation of their of their overhead was to scheduling. So it's a major, if you're looking at your overhead as, as it eats your, into your profit margin, and this isn't the huge profit margin business, you're, you're looking at a, a potentially a big percentage of your profit is going into paying schedulers to do it. So. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how does uh, typical AI scheduling in job shop manufacturing differ from its implementation in cafe shops and integrated manufacturers? Yeah, I, I would actually not sure if there'd be um, huge value in doing uh, AI scheduling in a cafe shop. I mean, it's it's flow. I mean, <laughs> like we're running five hundred parts a day, guys. Like it's the same day every day. Go there, do the same thing, right? Yeah, I, I, I mean, it, it's pretty simple AI. Please process these five hundred parts. Um, the the other the other thing that's big for a job shop is that a lot of times the time horizon can change back and forth, and customers willing to pay more or less depending on the time horizon. So if you can help them schedule efficiently and quickly. They can actually pro effectively promise uh, expedites, which can, you know, really, really unlock a lot of value for their customers because it's a service business. And you know, if you want to get an, if you want to buy a plane ticket two days before or two weeks before, you get a totally different price. So expedite model pricing models is very important. Okay. Okay. Got it. So, um, could you talk a bit about your wonderful team and the work you are actually? Doing? Yeah, no, this is a this is a very um, exciting team we have. Just uh, a lot of people work really hard, and uh, it, we we also has a unique. Uh, I would I would say pretty unique among software developers. A lot of them have spent time on industrial floors. I mean, including myself. You know, many 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 hours on the floor. So we 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 are very in touch with how the floor works. That's everyone in the company. Uh, so uh, we, we, we know what we know what's facing. We're not out to lunch on like what what's, what are the real challenges and hey, this isn't going to work at all or stuff like that. You know, put a ton of time on these floors. So and a bunch of a bunch of smart uh, guys and girls who put a, a good deal of time on out on, in out on the floor. And so they're going to build a good product with this. Okay, so uh, so over to my next question. So, like, how does uh, Steelhead's approach to AI scheduling in job manufacturing differ from other solutions in the market? Um, yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't believe anyone else is going after scheduling, um, but just as us as a general product, I think we are uh, way more drilled in on being hardcore at representing reality. Like we. You know, parts can be spread out. You know, a lot of platelettic softwares don't let parts get spread out. Like the same parts in the same job are spread out across the floor. It's just, it's a more challenging software engineering approach than to say, no, the parts are here, right? Um, we've, we've put a, quite a bit of effort into uh, recipe building, make it quick and easy to build different recipes because they frankly run an enormous number of recipes, um, different like, just what's going to happen to the parts totally it just changes a lot so we've invested a lot in a recipe builder which we call process trees um, so th there's there's some significant differences and a lot of it has come down from the from the fact that we started off with the goal of of achieving a simulation environment in mind um, which which means we are like Ooh, we, we have to be able to represent reality at every step so i, I would say that's the biggest difference between us and other um uh, offerings out there is that we we started off with a simulation based like every every decision was based around will this allow for simulation so we're really um, zoomed in on can we can this represent reality okay okay got it so um so how do you see air scheduling and manufacturing 
AI evolving in the future and uh, what role do you, do you see Steelhead playing in this evolution? Yeah, no, I think uh, um, scheduling is going to really, uh, obviously there's been a huge push lately for uh, onshoring manufacturing with all these, you know, uh, tensions. So I, I think as, as that pro process goes on, I think Steelhead will help play a role. Um, the big thing that I think can, can help is that it reduces the capital costs. So if you need to, the, the one, our, we did a poll of our customers' customers. So these, these people that are sending work to, to our customers. And we learned that their number one pain point with their cut with their supplier was time, not price. So how quickly can I get these parts back? So lead times was the biggest pro pain point they personally had. So what we're what we think is that if we can help our customers deliver reliable lead times, we're going to make uh, our customer services more desirable and 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 make the all American manufacturing more easier to run at a lighter capital allocation because they're not building these captive shops with just insane capital allocation of building every plant in America and under one rough Henry Ford style, just because it costs so much. So. Yes, but. yes, well said, yep. So yeah, so that covered all my questions for today. And uh, thank you so much for joining right. this uh, show, Brent. And uh, yeah, very glad to hear about Steelhead Technologies and all the best yeah. for your team. All right. Thank you, Deepak.